I am running to represent Nevada in the 14th District as a delegate to the ADA. My unique qualifications and experiences, including two years as an alternate delegate, have prepared me for this role. This allowed me to develop a deep understanding of the intricacies of this position and foster connections within our caucus and beyond. I am proud to be part of the most forward-thinking and progressive caucus in the ADA, from which a third of the pilot state programs for membership originated. Our district is renowned for its proactive approach to addressing challenges in dentistry, propelling the profession forward. Dentistry, like any profession, has its share of challenges, some of which may not be immediately apparent. However, when we stand united, our collective strength is undeniable. Let us not forget the immense potential for progress that lies in our unity. We all share in the struggle, and it is this shared struggle that binds us together. Despite potential divisive forces within our organization, I am unwavering in my commitment to hold them accountable whenever the opportunity arises. My dedication to unity and accountability is steadfast, and I believe it is crucial for our collective progress. After the last House of Delegates, I heard a few doctors complain that dentists who don't own practices shouldn't have a voice in our organization. I disagree and believe diversity of opinions and experience is what makes us stronger. There is a reason some dentists cannot own a practice, and it's not that they purchase too much avocado toast or Starbucks. The current generation of students has never had a bleaker future. Dental schools charge students hundreds of thousands of dollars at interest rates that would make payday loan companies jealous, and the quality of the education has been consistently decreasing. There are reasons that graduates with half a million dollars of loans at 9% interest who only did a handful of crowns and restorative procedures don't exactly feel comfortable opening a scratch practice. It's a scenario ripe for exploitation, precisely what private equity did. They overpaid for practices to reduce the supply available to new dentists, replace traditional mentorship with manipulation, and force students to get locked into contracts they could not afford to fight. We outlawed exploitative labor practices long ago, but they are back more than ever in dentistry. Rest assured, I am resolute in my commitment to addressing these issues and holding those accountable. While our challenges are formidable, we must draw inspiration from our unity and not succumb to division and condescension. Over the past four years, I have been dedicated to nurturing young leaders within our organization, and it is heartening to witness their progress. We are fortunate to have a remarkable group of dentists and support staff, and with their help, I firmly believe that Nevada can serve as a beacon for other states and demonstrate how to tackle these issues. Our potential in Nevada for change and progress is vast, and I am determined to leverage this potential to drive solutions. At the state level, I will continue my role as the chair of the Council on Membership and intend to increase the presence of the NDA at UNLV. I plan to foster a collaborative relationship with the new dean, Dr. Ma, another bright young leader. He has already reinvigorated their orthodontic program and is poised to raise UNLV to new heights. We also continue working with our legislators to ensure that dental insurance uses premiums for care, not profits. I will explore options to increase scholarships for students who will commit to work in underserved areas, as Nevada has many underserved communities that would value dental care. The following priorities will be complex, but the rewards will be incredible states and the federal government could establish or expand low-interest loan programs specifically for dental students. We have greatly expanded the breadth of educational demands of our students, but have had little to no accreditation reform from CODA. Regular audits at dental schools would allow the ADA to assess the clinical attainment of students and better correlate the value with the increasing expense of education, allowing potential students to be more well-informed before making a life-changing decision. The ADA also needs to revamp its educational material on starting and running a business, as it's not just financial issues blocking new graduates from owning practices. The value a program like this will add for members is fantastic and will increase local, state, and national membership levels. Through my multifaceted approach and collaborative effort, I believe we will overcome today's challenges and create a bright future for everyone. We will address the cost and quality of dental education to benefit the students, the profession, and public health. We will inspire young leaders to bring their diverse experiences to the table to better this organization in ways we cannot imagine. By working together, we are more than capable of changing the future of dentistry for decades and protecting the profession we all hold dear. Thank you.